amazing. It's What's up, guys? It's Supercar Blondie. I'm here to make you discover the rarest and most inconceivable cars on this planet. We're talking getting up close and personal. I'm joining the Motorfest adventure with one goal in mind. Gather the best concept cars ever made and put you in the driver's seat. Check this out, guys. Cars. Ready? For the first time, we are unleashing these dream cars and putting them to the test. And it's up to you to unlock their full potential. After all, this is no regular motor show. This is Motorfest. The future awaits. Are you ready? Blondie and her crew are waiting for you, ready to give you a real taste of the future. What is next in line? We're on our way to meet Alex. She'll personally introduce the two first cars to you and stay in touch as you're driving. All you've got to do is pick one for our first event and get as much out of it as you can. Let me tell you, the concept cars you're about to experience aren't just motor show material. Episode, concept Lamborghinis. Which of these two Super Bowls will you pick first? Egoista or Terza Millenio? What's up, guys? It's Supercar Blondie here in Hawaii at Motorfest, and I'm ready to introduce our very first two supercars. I reckon if we're going to do this, we got to start big. Our first theme, concept cars by Lamborghini. Right, you can choose between the very rarely seen Lamborghini Egoista or the, I cannot believe this is real, Terzo Millennio, and just feel what it's like to set them free in this world. You think you're ready? Let's go. Terzo Millennio, the most futuristic Lambo ever made. And let's be honest, you can never go wrong with a Lamborghini. It's Supercar Blondie back on the field where we're following one of the most promising drivers of the festival for some serious concept car action. Say hi to the driver, guys. Ah, so this is how Motorfest does things. Well, we're going to get along just fine. Right. In this first event, the idea is to push the Lamborghini to really high speeds and reach each checkpoint on time, which means going fast, maintaining that speed no matter what, and also not running out of time. All right, as far as I know, this first route starts with a wide road with no sharp turns, so there's no problem going all out with that Lambo. But be careful, the road gets narrower just down the way. By 
you're driving, don't miss some of the cool designs on the track. Look at that gate, it looks so cool. Ah, you see, it's super tight here. And at 300, this makes a huge difference. Check out the sun bouncing off that car. Doesn't it just give you the feels? There's the finish, guys. Enjoy these last few seconds. There you go, guys. The Lamborghini Terzo Millennio, like you've never seen it before. event. The Italian bull never ceases to amaze. Catch your breath. Warm-up is over. It's now time for a duel. We couldn't help but put these incredible cars up against each other. After all, these two units, straight from the Lamborghini Museum, don't want to just sit still. So you'll be driving the Lambo Egoista for this race. Buckle up, let's do this. All right, it's face-off time and you chose the Lamborghini Egoista, which literally translates to selfish. It is the ultimate one-seater hypercar. It's all about you and the car. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It was unveiled for the manufacturer's 50th anniversary. Just like an F1 car, it features a jet fighter style cockpit and no doors, which means you're gonna have to limber up so you can jump in and out of this beast. And of course, there's only one of these babies in the world. So even if you have the money to buy it, doesn't mean you can. Like its designer once said, this is hedonism taken to the extreme. Right, it's time to be selfish. Let's let this one loose. stop driving and you know what they say when in Rome we're talking Egoista versus Terzo Millennio right here it's happening
we're filming all of this and wow, that view, isn't that awesome? I've been told that that path is a little more technical. Give us a good show, but you know, watch your turns. Keep your wits about you. Not to make you nervous, but these cars must not, under any circumstance, end up in a ditch. They're worth millions of dollars. Our driver is first. I just gotta remind you guys that this race is unprecedented. These two incredible cars going head to head. We've gotta go for it. Reaching the toughest part now, lots of turns from here on. Now's a good time to throw down that foot. from space. Congratulations, driver. On to the next one. So, how did you like this first dyad of cars? Quite the way in, right? Don't let your guard down. We're just getting started. Your dream cars experience moves forward with our second theme. Dream Bugattis. I know, pretty much every Bugatti model to date already looks incredibly advanced. So how much further can they go? Well, Alex has selected two cars that will give you a definite answer to that. What's up, guys? The show continues and we're not slowing down. Another dream manufacturer has lent us two unbelievable concept cars. Elegant, impressive, and elusive. We're talking about the Bugatti Veyron Barchetta and the one and only Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Which car are you gonna pick? One of the toughest decisions for sure. This is Dream Cars Part Two. Choose, drive, 
and make us fly. Bugatti Veyron Barquetta. All right, someone wants to enjoy that Hawaiian breeze. We're back for a new round and it's all about Bugattis this time. Two exquisite hypercar concepts. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna love this. in just seconds. You know, not all concept cars have finished interiors, but the cars we've chosen really do, and you've got to see them. My tip would be to switch to the cockpit view to take a closer look. This is your chance to admire the incredibly futuristic interior as well. Don't get too distracted, of course. You've still got to stay on the road. Checkpoints, we've got to keep up the pace. piece to this day.
journey is far from over. Aeron versus Noir. There's a certain ring to it, don't you think? Well, guess what? That's our next headline. Do you think you're up to the job? We'll get it this time. The Bugatti La Voiture Noir, the one and only. Great choice. What's up, guys? It's Supercar Blondie here with you in Hawaii, and you're about to drive the stunning Bugatti La Voiture Noir. This is a car with a $20 million price tag. Only one car was ever made, and the name literally translates to the black car but it sounds way better in French. This car is inspired by one of the rarest Bugattis, the Type 57 SC Atlantic, the last all black Atlantic that was ever made. And it's been missing since World War II. Now, a more modern futuristic take on that car is back. Are you ready to get behind the wheel? Let's go. Did you like our previous run? Then you're in for a treat. Same deal, after showing off, time for a proper face-off Motorfest style. These cars are both able to reach insane speeds. Our driver is first. Noir. These cars are at the pinnacle of luxury, and yet they're also defined by their incredible power.
this. These two Bugattis aren't done yet. Are you guys enjoying the show? full potential, unleash it, no regrets. Go for it, driver. The Lover Tunoir once again shows why it's the most expensive car ever made. What's up guys? It's time to move to the third and final part of our Dream Cars Tour. And we got two great surprises coming straight from France. These are some of the most gorgeous and unconventional concept cars I have ever seen. There is no question about it. Are you ready? All right, we've got what I call the most beautiful car in the world, the Renault Trezor and the super fierce Citroen GT. No matter which one you choose first, you're in for some serious fun. This is French Dreams. Let's go. The meanest French car ever made. You're going to like this one.
What's up, guys? We're about to head into the third part of this experience, and our driver's done a killer job so far. We've seen how iconic supercar manufacturers can go beyond our wildest dreams with their designs, with concepts like Lava Noir and Egoista. Now, let's see what happens when we let the creative minds coming from more conventional manufacturers roam free. And as you can see, the answer is nothing short of incredible. The difference here is even more obvious, as we all know Renault and Citroën are usually focused on delivering everyday practical cars, which these definitely aren't. Take a look at them. It's like we've jumped years into the future. The widest boulevards of Honolulu have been cleared just for the driver. What does it feel like from inside the car? driver's entering the freeway, which means we're almost there. Hold on. That was the GT by Citroën, a car that would turn heads in any city of the world. This duel is going to be incroyable! Renault Trezor it is, the beauty with the honeycomb hood. Alrighty, you're about to drive one of the most beautiful cars in the world, the Renault Trezor. More of a spaceship person, all right, I like it. This car has some of the coolest design features I've ever seen. Let me take you through some of them. Get this, it has a honeycomb shaped air intake on the bonnet that actually opens and closes tail lights that are made of special material that actually contract when braking. So cool. Never seen that before. And a canopy that opens to reveal this bright red interior. All right, can't wait to see this in action. No pressure, driver. All right, you ready? Here comes the jewel. Good luck. the Supercar Blondie channel is back online for a race between two cars that are just out of this world. The outstanding Citra GT versus my personal crush, the Renault Trezor. And icing on the cake, the weather here couldn't be more beautiful. Cold.
Here we are, cruising down the legendary Waikiki Beach at speeds that'll rip through you. What a view! The city is all ours. Slow down, we're going straight through that building. Not many turns in the upcoming stretch of road, driver. Go for it. French sci-fi jewel, starting with full power on this strip of Hawaiian freeway. <laughs> Renault Trezor gets first position. Do not try and overtake that car or she'll see red. is far from over. you drove today for one unconceivable race. Considering that these cars will be your opponents, Alex got you one last incredible vehicle to race with them. We weren't sure we'd get it on time, and Alex clearly had to pull a few strings. But it is here, waiting for you. The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow.
Welcome back, guys. All right, now it's time for you to race all of the cars in the playlist at the same time. Your car and the final car to be introduced into the Dream Cars lineup is the Mercedes Vision EQ Silver Arrow. This is a beautiful, sleek, all-electric car with room just for you. It has this intense paintwork that gives off the feel of liquid metal. And when you step inside, it features a panoramic screen to help you navigate. A car that was made for this very race. So I'm not gonna say anymore. You just need to jump in behind the wheel and see for yourself. This is Supercar Festival. Let's do this. event of the dream experience everything has led to this moment we're going all the way south of the island so this is going to be a long and tough race <laughs> expect some serious ups and downs on this path Watch for the curves. showdown to behold. Even for me, this race is a big first. Stay tuned, everyone. It's raining supercar concepts here. just appeared in the distance, which means we're about halfway through. All right, 
What does our driver have to say about the Silver Arrow? We've moved heaven and earth to get you this car, but it was totally worth it. Just look at this thing. Tell me this is not the most futuristic car you've ever seen, or better yet, driven. Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow is 100% electric and was made as a tribute to the previous Silver Arrows, including the famous 1938 speed record breaker, the Mercedes Record Bargain. I'd love to explore that special Motorfest car meet and see some custom shows. That's something I always love to do when I get the opportunity. Push that silver arrow, she can take it. This was the Dream Cars Experience, organized by Motorfest and the Supercar Blondie Channel. I hope you guys had an awesome time. waiting for you. This was the Dreamcast Playlist, presented by Supercar Blondie. This partnership went way beyond our expectations. A total success. And Alex is so much fun. Well, I got great news for you. It does not end here. Like in all other playlists, challenges are available, so you can enjoy the world of concept cars some more. And the best part is, you now have your own dream car waiting for you at the container. You drove it in your final performance. You brought the best in it during a race that will remain in everyone's memory. And now it's yours. The Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow.
this playlist. A playlist is ready to try. Let's go try it. You know where to find me, driver. Ready for the next objective? Good to go.